Yeah, I mean, we can always put long distance into things later on. Um... And some guns. Guns would be under that. Electronics, glass, that would be cool. So let's let's do fragile cargo. All right, we've got two emails. It's probably the bank again. To whom it may sir, we are looking for skilled drivers with their own trucks for a large number of deliveries. We offer competitive rates up to 10,000 for a job. Please, if you have your own vehicle, inquire directly at our dock in Portland. Well, sorry, buddy. Dispatcher, hello boss, I have something for you. Thanks to our connections, we're now able to get a real challenge. Some special extra large and heavy cargoes need to be hauled by a true professional. It won't be easy and it'll require some skill, patience, cooperation with escorting vehicles and extra care, but I guess you have it all, right? Also, bigger risk comes with bigger profit. If you're interested, you can visit these cities. Uh, we got Pendleton, Oregon. And Port Portland's one of them, so I don't know what that is. Yeah, we gotta get our own truck someday. We're up to almost 20,000 though. So I mean, it's going pretty quick. Oh. The old throat's giving me a fit. Lethal. That, I think that may be that. That must be something different in the game. Alright, let's check the job market. Here's heavy cargo. Well, here we got fragile, high value. That's a really short one. Transport helicopter. Um. Yeah, I think we have to go for the transport helicopter no matter what. No, that's an air, air conditioning complex. What? Um, here it is. God, it's showing them latching it on. On this episode of Shipping Wars. <laughs> Holy crap, I like this little like display of it and everything. That dude's taking a selfie with it. Oversized load. Uh, seriously, Grimmith, um, there is a show that used to come on. It was called Shipping Wars, and it was on a whatever that one channel is. And they had very limited episodes, but you would be amazed how some of that big stuff gets shipped on there. There was even one where they come to Somerset, Kentucky, and Somerset, Kentucky produces a lot of big houseboats and stuff. And this guy just had a, a, it was like an F-650 or something. That's what he used to haul stuff. And he was going to haul a houseboat with that truck. But when he got there, the dude hadn't drained the water out. So the truck weighed like, or the, the houseboat weighed like so many thousands of pounds. And, you know, he couldn't do it. But it's crazy. All right. You're about to haul a special transport cargo. 
There are two escort vehicles which will lead you. Please be careful and follow their lead and suggestions in the route advisor. Special transports like this don't stop on a red signal and have the right of way in most situations. During these deliveries, checkpoints are made more often to save your current progress. <laughs> Pay extra attention to the following. Avoid any possible conflict with the escort vehicles and keep the cargo between them. Do not drive out of the estimated route, nor to filling stations, rest stops, etc. Obey speed limitations, which will be ensured by the front escort vehicle. Watch out for overtaking traffic and other drivers on the road. Change lane maneuver. So both of them have to get over before I can do that. See you, Viking. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, my God. Blinking lights everywhere. Put her in gear. Man, it's like so far behind my truck, too. So this is going to turn even differently than everything else. How do we get out of here? Dude, waving. Hey, hey buddy. We scratch it up coming out of the parking lot. With the news covering it. This is a big deal if the news is covering it. Watch a train come by and just decimate this thing. Oh, Jesus. I mean, who in the hell would put a, a light post there? I mean, seriously. Block of the traffic. Oh, I get a state police escort. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> the tables have turned, bitches. <laughs> See if he drives on through this. Yep. Break on through to the other side. We're gonna break on through. Now the thing is, is I cannot see the vehicle behind me. Oh, look at the time. It is 10.38 p.m. at night. No, it's 6.33. That was one of the things on Shipping Wars that I remember they talked about, is that on these big oversized loads, in certain states, they had to leave after a certain time because big cargo like that couldn't be out on the road during the middle of the day and stuff.
Yeah, that's true. And there'll be no speeding now. I have to stay behind him. That's a pretty cool aspect, though. Which way are we going, boys? Oh! They were even blocking traffic back there. That was cool. Yeah, I get to break all the rolls on this one. Oh, there's there's cops here. Ah! We're good. We're good. Yep, we're good. Okay. Whew. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> we're good. We're good. Everything's fine. Yep. We're fine. Probably why I can never Oh man, check that out. You got the biker cops out here. All right, 164 miles of this, we got it. I didn't hit the helicopter. I'm just trying to keep her in the center of the road. Utmost concentration. Turn my lights on. Starting to get a little dark. Just high beam the dude. The other, like, there's... <laughs> Ten four, good buddy. I'm blinded, blinded by the light, wrapped up in a douche, and I've been rolling in the night. Three hours and 30, 20 something minutes is how long this delivery is going to take. I still think this is cool because this is like a whole different like mission type. Oh, they're blocking traffic down there. Man, we got we got the entire organization of Oregon State Police Force out here. So if I saw a cop on the side of the road like that with his lights on, I wouldn't stop. I would just slow down. Uh, uh oh, I can't see him. I have to switch to the other view. I couldn't see him. Oh. What's a Chinook go for? I wonder if this is like a personal... I mean, it's a, it's obviously a, uh, a... Like a... It's probably some movie star buying it, but I wonder... I mean, it's... Okay, well, maybe it's for like the... I don't know. It's not painted militarily. 
So it's got to be for something. They go for 338 million. Okay, 30, wait, no, what? No, there's no way a Chinook costs 38 million. I mean, I've not went out shopping for Chinooks in a while. I mean, you know, as much money as I make streaming and as much as you all fund my Patreon and and my bits and stuff, I've just, I've not been in the market for a Chinook. Now, I've been looking for a, a lawnmower here lately, so that that's more in my ballpark. Ah, oh, this is cool where it's getting not... Uh-oh, why is my beacon light not on? Seven, thank you so much. Changing lane maneuver coming. Seven, thank you for the five gifted subs. I appreciate that. I was a little freaked out because I didn't know what was going on. A thing, World War II fan, Deathwalker, Sweet One, and Topans are all picking up subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I like that you all use the SKS Confused face instead of the hype one. I see what you all are on to. Thank you, Seven. I appreciate that. I will put that toward my Chinook shopping plans. <laughs> hey, look at that dude's got a big load too. Why is my hazard light not working? It was on earlier. I forgot what my beacon light is. I think it's like B or N or something like that. But I, I programmed it to one of the the quick buttons. Oh, yeah, joy, yeah. So yeah, it should be working. I don't know. It's not coming on. Who knows? <laughs> Presses me drops to death. <laughs> that would be awful. Oh, we're really moving now, boys and girls. This is this is SKS action-packed action. Twelve miles per hour down the interstate. Oh yeah, look at that action shot. You wanna know why? Uh oh, Hold on, I'm gonna have to slow up so I don't. This is what I call pod racing. Uh oh. I'm between them. Good lord, calm down. The guy in the back has to go, then the dude in the front, and then I follow. I don't know why it was barking at me. I don't think I'm going to be able to speed in this. Just uh, throwing that out there. I mean, I was doing 12 miles per hour. I mean, we're up to 30 almost. We've got 98 more miles to go. We're coming up on Salem. It's pretty cool, though. I'm not going to lie. That, that's pretty awesome. Oh, 
Oh my god. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> Everybody's like, you know what, let's just get off on this exit. <laughs> yeah, the biggest thing I think I've ever had to avoid is like, obviously double ads. They, they ship those a lot during the day. Um, and I've seen some of the big wide loads where they got like the construction site, like cranes and stuff on them. But like, I don't think anything like this I've ever got around. I mean, that's. That's pretty ways. Yeah, we don't have a lot of the wind generators in my area that I live. I know if you go up to Indiana, they have a bunch, but I'm sure there's some out in western Kentucky because it's really flat out there. But if Mark so was here, he probably could vouch for that more than I could. But yeah, you'd think about cutting me off until you saw that state cop in front of me. And you'd just be like, Crap. Oh my god, it's three abreast. That's crazy. <laughs> you can't do anything, there's a different cop at every exit. That cop was waving them by and nobody's there. I mean, look, that's how... <laughs> well, my speedometer turned red, so you can speed. The limit is evidently 40. Alright, 83 miles to go, about two hours drive time. Oh, people are actually passing us now. in Albany. Oh, we got an on-ramp coming up here. Better cut my... Uh... Cruise control. Careful going up through here. Ride that left line. Okay. Turning left. We're heading toward Newport. Cops are here. Swing out a little bit. That was, that was masterfully done, if I do say so myself. Well, it's like I tried to speed up on the interstate and then the cop kept slowing me down. It's really a weird dynamic. Let's see, I'll speed up on him here and we'll see if, like, 
He speeds up. I mean, see, I'm, I'm pushing 25, and he's just... He's, he's limiting me. <laughs> just blind him. I really want my beacon to be on. I had one at the start, I thought, but maybe I was wrong. Bump draft him. Yeah, I'm sure Oregon's finest wouldn't mind that one bit. dark road. Man, you come flying around the corner and you see this coming at you, you might be scared to death. Alright, he's letting me get some speed now. And we can press 40. Push 40. I'll press it. So the cop goes faster here than he will on the interstate. Good, good joke. I swear I just saw a shooting star in my side view mirror. Oh no, it's his trap. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Pay no attention to the driver of this truck. He has no idea what he's doing. <laughs> They're out there, man. UFOs are everywhere. Hey, why is he, he... Man, he's really veering that car over. Did you see that? Let's see if he does it on this guy, too. Yep. He's going to ride that middle line. Get your... Man, I don't know what I'd do if I saw a state cop start driving on into me. Uh, it does have radio on here, Sir James, but obviously it plays copyrighted materials, so that's something you can do probably when you're you're single playing. I mean I can make it brighter by turning my brights on. He probably won't care. I mean it is midnight. We're fifty one mile or fifty one minutes away. So it is going to be dark in the stream, Pete. I mean, that's better than that. Control is still moving. We're 18 miles away. We've almost done it. In my last two missions, I've hit something at the very end. Let's see if we can not do that this time. Pressure's on. See more flashing lights up ahead. I don't know what you're talking about, Lethal. Okay, the cops are really slowing me down here. Or 
turn left up here. Go right on through. We do. Oh! No! I did not even hit him! It didn't even make a sound! Oh, that's bull crap. That's such bull crap. That's all, I mean, there was no... All because I slowed down and was trying to be too cautious. didn't hit her. Ah, it makes me so mad. But that's trailer damage. That's not like what's in it damage. Changing lanes. Okay. on this dude up here. Oh, I can see the destination on the map. We're almost there. delivering us to the marina, it looks like. You're probably right, Dark Wolf. Looks like I gotta do a big U-turn down here. I'm just pushing these people off the bridge. Now he's really slowing me down. Alright, so we gotta make this is gonna be an awful, awful turn here. Got it? Yeah. Had to go up in the grass a little bit. Oh, shoot. You think they would have cleared the road to let me get in here? No, we got coal trucks and flatbeds and everything. Thanks, Dresden. Oh, are we done here? Goodbye, partner. Thank you. Oh, man. 
man, we've done it, everybody. Oh, no, no, I was there. Gotta shift gears. Okay. So here we go, here's our final destination. News media is here. I don't know. We'll detach that, get rid of this. Good Lord. But that was damage, oh, size matters achievement. Get to the chopper, achievement unlocked. Big in America. And we get another skill point. Explosive choppers. Um, hey, Travis, y'all want to throw explosives on there then? We could do flammable gases or flammable liquids. Flammable solids. Because the next rank is you get 5% more, 10% higher reward. Uh, acetonine, hydrogen. I think we do the flammable three. All right. <clears throat> there went the voice. <clears throat> All right. Uh, hmm. uh, we can help you. It's the bank again. <laughs> sure, madam. We couldn't help but notice you steady, your steady earnings, and we would like to assist with taking those earnings away from you. <laughs> Uh, your credit limit has been raised to 500000 Feel free to draw from the available sum anytime your local bank center. That's funny. Um... I still think I want to stay and get at least one more mission in before we buy our own truck. Mostly we stayed up here in this area. I wouldn't mind driving down to California. That's probably outside of our range right now. We'll be able to travel a lot more when we do get our own truck. Had new avoid location. All right, let's see what's on the job market here. I really want to avoid all these like little squiggly things, but here's another heavy cargo, a transformer. That's a long drive for that. That takes us up to Tacoma. Cargo, oh my God. If they hit that in there as a uh, Easter egg, you all would die. House prefabs. These are all going to the same place. Portland to Omok. Used packaging. That looks like a pretty good steady drive.
Oh wow. What's that? That takes us over to Spokane. I want to do the transformer. Where was that one? Yeah, this one. I think this one. The used packaging looks pretty, uh, pretty like straightforward drive. Oh, we're starting at night again. Oh, it's going to be mostly a night drive, isn't it? You all love those. All right, let's uh, start this up. Turn my lights on. Uh, Dresden, we don't have our own uh, vehicle yet, so we don't really have any uh, choice in that. But yeah, if I had my own vehicle, I would go get gas in between things. Yes, this is doubles. There, looks like this is going to be really interesting to get out of this parking lot. Oh, it would help if I put it in gear. You would think I would learn to shift right now. Did not. Don't be telling any lies. Tell me lies. Tell me sweet little lies. Oh man, this is gonna be a hard place to get out of. No clip, or it didn't happen. Look, there's already trucks waiting to get out up here. Why would I? Why in the world would they have this design to where the big trucks come to the middle of the parking lot like this? We're never getting out of this parking lot. Yep. What a terrible, terrible spot. Just ease on out there. And then glare at that driver menacingly. Driver gives no shits. Like, I literally gotta, like, wedge out. Oh my god. Hey, cop, 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 come on. Come on. Oh, I got a sunroof in this one. How close can I get to this cop without hitting him? Are y'all still not gonna let me out? Oh, you are. I guess he kind of had to. But, um... We'll take it. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. That was crazy there. I can't believe it's so hard to get out. Let's go. Come on, gear up. Let's go, Hoss Cat. <laughs> Our speed is increasing. I think we've got a fairly straight path. So I could, if I could stay on the road, I could just keep my speed up. And uh, we should get there quick. It says it's an 11 hour drive. We're probably going to stop and get gas. Let me check my info panel here. Uh, yeah, 340 miles of gas left. So. Put our high beams on. through Deep Grove. That's, that's interesting. So stopping to get gas is going to be an adventure again, as you all have seen before. Um, obviously, when they designed this game, they didn't research the American truck stops, which one half of the gas station looks like a regular gas station. But then on the other side, you've got the truckers lanes, which are much bigger and very, you know, navigationally sound for a truck to get in and out of that location. Um, well, what is going on up here? Road work. This is bull crap. How long is this road work going to last? I'm pretty sure my truck is rolling backwards, even when I get the brake pressed. Um, okay. I was like, do we ever get a green light, or is this just closed for the night? wipe out their entire construction. Oh my god, where'd the rest of this come from? Oh my god. Okay. Somehow I got through that. I'm just gonna chalk it up as skill. I can make something like that, but uh, the other stuff, oh no, no, you hit, you hit the post or you hit something that was four foot away, but okay, you can make it around that. Three hundred miles, we gotta get fuel. Huh. I have to figure out what color truck we want to get. I don't think, uh, I don't know how the uh, designs work. Throwing our brights here. 
to help you all see a little bit more. I apologize for it being a night drive, but sometimes that's what you got to do. Especially when you don't own your own truck and you don't got to sleep. Your guy just magically rests in between missions and time doesn't run. Back in Albany? We spend a lot of time around this area. Yeah, you can blink your lights all you want there, buddy, but I'm going to keep my brats on. Sorry. All right, maybe I'll turn them off just to be nice. I can pass this two trucks here. Got a fishtail truck. Fishtail Foods. Finest fresh seafood company. That's a mouthful. Why well, they show the ass of the fish on their logo. Okay. I don't know what y'all are up to, but I like it. You know, technically, there's a gas station right up here. I should just stop here early and get gas if it'll let me. And then we should have enough to finish the mission. Because right now we got enough gas for almost 300 miles, and that's almost... So a full tank will be almost 600 and that puts us right at where we needed to be. Maybe I'm big braining myself too much. Maybe I should wait till a, a future. Um, I wish you could like search. I want. Oh, they're on the map. Okay. So there's one there, and then we won't see another one until here. Yeah, so we'll wait till we get to that one, and then we'll stop and get gas. So hopefully that gas station, since it's on the main stretch of road, will have a bigger gas station than one of these in Bodunk. Bodunk, Albany. This used car place reminds me that we've not drove by any uh, truck dealerships. Usually you go by truck dealerships and you can add different places to buy stuff from and We've just not really ran into that on this version of the game, so. All right, let's keep on uh, pushing forward. Keep on keeping on. SKS is here with 365 Freedom Trucking, Freedom Delivery, excuse me, making sure that America runs 100% for the future. Now, why in the world that I hit my cruise control button and my windshield wipers come on? We've not run into rain yet either. That's interesting to think about. Now that I've said that, we'll we'll run into it, but four a.m. So it looks like the sun's gonna start coming back up. There's very little sunlight in the West Coast. It seems like. Well, you know, um, we, we kind of had to get away from Third Reich trucking. Even though I had some amazing fan-made uh, decals for the truck. The truck in front of me is really starting to get on my nerves. He's, I'm going to have to turn my cruise control off now. I'm going to glare my lights in his, his, his rear view or his side view windows just so he knows I'm back here.
Dresden, we all have to eventually. Especially if you want any YouTube monies or anything like that. Times are tough. That's why, like, I know it sounds cheap, but I always push Patreon and and donation for subs and bits and things like that because, I mean, you just don't make anything on YouTube anymore. I never did to begin with. I'm not saying I did, but I'm just... It's even tougher now because everything gets flagged. Oh, good lord. Got real loose around the corner there. Come on. Come on, truck. Damn, going downhill does something very different to the wheels. Truck slowing up again. What you're talking about, Grimmith. <laughs> oh. I was so young then. It's like, man, this is really cool. I can like manipulate my own videos and edit things to one the stuff I want. Nope. No dice. Yeah, the time that I said the uh, that joke, uh, I'll never forget Grimma's face. <laughs> his, his rocking come to a stop. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look, I can't help they put that animation in that game. That's what matters. Somebody had to mention the elephant in the room. So, now this truck is, he must have a very strong truck engine. Because I can't keep up with him up this hill. And those English trees. See, when I don't understand things, I have to come up with my own understanding and comprehension. And that, that's, what, that's what happens. A tin can mic was like a super cheapy cheap Logitech Walmart's finest microphone. Oh, and then I just think of the colonization videos and how bad those were. Oh man. And we're we're smooth sailing now, but Oh no, I coughed. I like how that cough just drove by me. Oh man, we, we bastardized the TGN videos. I'll never forget the, the, the racism we... Oh my god, it's raining! Just they, <laughs> and it wasn't just me that week. It was like everybody, and I don't think they knew how to recover from that. <laughs> uh, Corey had the house, y'all. <laughs> oh god, I'm not gonna be able to make this turn. Okay. Ah. Uh. Cause that one dude did the one Middle Eastern video. And <laughs> it was like some like Call of Duty game or something, and it was like, ah, oh. <laughs> oh. good times. And then Pete's favorite person won that contest. Who I think works for that company now.
I'm pretty sure. Or no, she got eliminated a weekend before, but she works for the company now. I think. So she got her way in one way or another. I mean, I remember I had to fight with them over the gift cards for finishing where I did and everything. That was, oh my god. Yeah, they had that all planned for like certain individuals to win it. And, uh, well, they even tried to call me out saying that, like, I I was paying people or something to go vote in that, and it's like, I really wasn't. The other dude who finished ahead of me, like, he was, like, going out and advertising for, like, people to hit like on his videos and stuff like that. I would never go that far, but, yeah, we, we, the Gamer Nation did, uh, do a sacramental, uh, we, we definitely uh, destroyed that a little bit. We rattled the cage, and for that I'm proud. All right, I think, yeah, this is the gas station we need to stop at up here. But yeah, I remember getting in an argument with the dude and, and he was like wanting to change the values of the gift cards and like he's like yeah man i'm sorry uh but you know they they changed this and that i said no i go here's here's your sign up thing it has to be this much i said i'm sure that my buddy who's a like a like a a an attorney would love to see you all doing like false advertisements and stuff like that and like he didn't talk to me for like two days after that. And then finally he came back and he goes, well, I'm going to make it right. I'm, I'm going to buy these gift cards with my own money uh, to uh, make sure you get compensated the right way that you were supposed to. And I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, are you serious? This is really what this has turned into? This is like the biggest shit show that I've ever been involved in. And it's just like, I just, I couldn't believe uh, well, they tried to short me because uh, I think they were trying to they, they were trying to run like a non-profit and they wanted to pocket everything themselves is what it was. And uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I hope not everything's like that. But hey, there's the UPS truck. Well, I don't think they did. I think they were trying to run it like that, Pete. You know, where everything you make, you keep in-house. You know. So, yeah. We are, sweet one. Rolling across Oregon mostly tonight. I know. I've always shied away from that stuff. See, the one time I wanted to get creative with my Kevin Costner, Whitney Houston, bodyguard thing, stuff like that happens. And then people are like, SKS, why don't you edit videos more? <laughs> well, hmm. There's a reason. That's okay. We've got Super Mega Baseball 3 coming down the road. We've got NCAA football. I'm really thinking about... There's a couple other games coming down the road that I'm really excited about. We've got this up and going now. Now that I've got a wheel stand, I can actually move my wheel in and out in front of my computer a lot easier. So uh, this can be streamed a lot more. I'm working from home, I'm gonna have a lot more time to edit videos. That's why I've got uh, NCAA football videos going. 
I've not felt like doing the next one. I've got it halfway done. Oh, God. I've got it halfway done right now, but not... I've laid in bed a lot the last two days. I had so many things I wanted to do this weekend in my yard and go by the lawnmower and weed eater and all that good stuff, my adulting. But it's just like, when your ear feels like it's got like a dagger going through it to your throat, you kind of don't feel like doing that stuff. I know, shocking, right? Let's go ahead and turn our headlights off. They did release another Super Mega Baseball 3 video uh, showcasing what some of the game looks like and everything. So uh, if you've not looked at it, you might want to go on their website. Um, okay, yeah, we turn here. We're going toward the dolls. Oh man, look at this curvy road coming up. This is two hairpin turns. Windshield wipers, you're really starting to annoy me. Thank you. Wow, that's some beautiful... Is that the Microsoft-like uh, startup thing from a couple years ago? Biggest hairpins I've ever seen. Old Mount XP. That was on some dude's... Oh, God. Did you see that sign? It's like turnover 20 miles per hour. Oh, my gosh. We should be fine at 27, right? 30, even. I work on, a like, a big graded hill. <clears throat> and even in my truck, I have to slow down sometimes because you feel like you're going to flip over. Looks like we're in Moppin. I don't, oh, I don't know where Moppin's at, but we're here. It looks pretty. See, I wish they'd take... Oh, they got, like, cowboys and stuff in the front of the... I wish I could have looked at that a little bit more. Um, you could take, like, a map like this and turn it into, like, a World War II game or something where you had squad battles like this. But th it would be really cool. Emergency ramps. What? cool through here though it's a little hectic driving and I'm not gonna lie slow lane and let everybody pass because I know that's what they want. That's pretty neat, Sir James. The only thing I remember from Colorado was pallets. Lots and lots of pallets. There goes the post-ed truck. I love that this truck has no horsepower whatsoever. Look at this. This looks like Western Kentucky here. You'd have lots of canola fields, though. It's flatness. <laughs> yeah, that one dude did pee right in front of me. That was my welcome to Denver moment.
The other welcome to Denver moment was a lot of women who were tall as me or taller than me with deep voices. Still haven't figured that one out yet. Right, let's try not to fly down this grade here. Oh, check out the cow pastures over there. Very quiet inside this truck. I get so loose when I'm going downhill in that other view. I don't know why there's like such a disconnect of like will. What's a sign say? A truck's use low gear. Um about that. Welcome to the Dalles. We've done it. This isn't where we need to go, but it's like Oregon Trail a little bit. We need to very drastically slow down. We're going to I-84, it looks like. Okay, we took this turn and then we gotta go up here and take a big drastic on-ramp. Interesting. We've been over this bridge before. I remember this. This is one of our earlier missions. Let's try to make this turn without uh, flipping anything over here. Oh, I think that was about perfect. Yeah, Belvoir, I've, I've, it, it's, I've turned the thing down, but it's the dead space seems like it's come back. So I'll, I'm going to have to tinker with it a little bit more, but... Welcome aboard. We'll be all right. Belvoir, thank you for that follow. I appreciate it, sir. Or ma'am. I don't know why. Belvoir just sounds like a manly name. It's probably... I'm sorry, probably some petite lady. How dare you? Dark Wolf, let's not even talk about that. Look at this. This is... This is just... Look at here. Look at here. Whoa, look at that church. I always said, though, if I won the lottery, I would travel the United States and I'd go to different churches, like small churches that are like rustic like that, and like just leave random donations and then run just to give them money to keep going. Welcome aboard. Okay, views, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. There goes Bumblebee. Exit 82, We're leaving the Dalles, Dalles. We've died there a lot in Oregon trail run-throughs that we have. There's the Dolphin Bridge. What? What are you talking about, Lethal? What have I missed? Oh, we're gonna have to go to this, oh. Are we going to have to go to this way station? Are we going to have the bomb? Is it bomb threat time, everybody? Let's see. Yep. It's, there's a bomb detected. You must come weigh yourself so that we can see if you have it in your truck. Empty left. Oh, I didn't even notice there was... Um, oh, I could have bypassed it. Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't even notice the green light until it was, I'm already here. Weigh me, damn it. I got all dressed up for prom and no date. 
<laughs> Very sad. Okay, dude, you can go. We can go together. Oh God, maybe I can't go. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, you, you learn your place. We're going, same Elliot line. We're going to the same place. Let's go there together. You can't bring him back. Yeah, the AI of both Euro Truck and American Truck is very, uh, I don't even know what the wording for it is. All right, we got 300 miles to go. Did my gas plan work? 586 miles of gas left. Yes, it did. I guess it technically is not a coal truck. Maybe it doesn't have coal in it, right? That's the bay over here. Yep, Marina Drive. We've been through here before. When we get our own truck, like I said, we'll be able to really go keep on doing chunks of the road on down the highway and in the different states and stuff. Uh, that might be a, a next stream thing. I didn't realize it was already 10 o'clock. How long have I been playing? Three hours? Oh my god, I didn't realize that. Yeah, the way station's like, just whatever. Tell you something. <laughs> ben before he said 32 horses shot out from under him, but he killed 33 Yankees. Force was better. <laughs> oh, Pete, I gotta watch that tomorrow. That is one of the greatest movies. It's on my top, it's in my top 10, maybe top five. Uh, oh, what's going on? Wait, wait, what? Um, game? So I've got to go around. You sons, that's poor. Making me shift gears, and change everything. This cop is right up on my balls. Well. I know I did. If you've ever took the driver's test in America, I would say every state's book says, if you pass your exit, do not slam on the brakes. I'm pretty sure I cut that truck off again behind me. That blue truck hates my soul. <laughs> oh. I'm like literally driving this wheel like I do my truck. I've got both of my arms crossed on the wheel. Just sad that we've had to take a different route around Vancouver instead of through it. Which technically, if you wanted to micromanage what you do in this game, you probably would want to do that a lot of times because you want to stay away from going through the middle of the cities and stay on the roads like this where you just on ramp everything. So. Maybe when I have my own truck, I need to micromanage the routes a little bit more. See, because staying at 52 miles per hour was a lot better than, you know, slowing up and going through the city. It would mean mastering waypoints. I cannot believe that I've been streaming for three hours. God, this is why I'm playing this game. It just, it draws me in so much. 
Oh, we get to go into downtown Seattle, it looks like. I don't believe we went this way last time. Pretty sure we went left. Took a different ramp. Oh no, we're gonna bypass it again. Oh, is that the big stadium I was talking about earlier that we didn't get to see? And I said I had to see that to see if uh, Seattle was accurate? Well... Domas Arena. What do they got, Comcast? Is that the... Seattle's... Stadium? here. Still got 262 miles to go. I really wish that navigation panel on the right had a cruise control thing so you knew that, like, if you're in here, you obviously can see the cruise control button. But if you're out, there's nothing notifying you that it's set. I was wondering where that was at, Belvoir. I, like, I thought that would be on, like, by, on its own, but I guess you have to turn it on? Or is that like a mod? We're really moving now. Pass the station wagon. Oh. I wonder what it sounds like. I wonder if it copyrights everything. Voice navigation. Doug. Do I want Doug with a UK accent, a US accent, or a rasp or sky? She can be an old granny. That might be. Raspy Doug. I agree. Come on, there's a job to do. I don't know if I agree anymore. Oh lord, watch your speed! Drive safe. Keep right. Keep left. At the roundabout, take the sixth exit. Keep left. Stay right. At the roundabout, take the first exit. At the roundabout, take the fifth exit. Immer geradeaus. <laughs> I just want somebody to yell, Helga, yell at me in German. Achtung, achten Sie auf die Geschwindigkeitsbegrenzung. Am Kreisverkehr, zweite Ausfahrt nehmen. Yeah, I don't think Sky is, uh, we'll, we'll keep her on for a little bit, just to, just to test this out. And see, just to see how crazy she acts. Entering Washington. Wow, really, buddy? I need to put my big horn on this, not this little bitty one. I, I just want them to be like, Achtun Asphalt. Uh, seven. <laughs> She knows better than to talk back at me.
It's like, I gotta find that happy medium between the dead spot on the wheel and the, uh... Keep the... left. Okay. I'm in the middle. Dude, it's like, continue going on the left two lanes towards your destination. I mean, there is that lethal. I just didn't, I didn't think I would need it, but I think I'm gonna need it now. Um, there we go. There's a, I don't think there's a louder horn. Drive safely. Obey speed limit. If you drink, don't drive. Do the watermelon crawl. She didn't tell me to keep left here. I'm upset. Sky's letting me down. I might have to go back to Raspy Doug here in a second. Yeah, the thing I need to change is... The dead spot... Maybe it's the sensitivity? Put it down just a tad bit more? Because I like... I need to turn the wheel more I want to turn. Okay, yeah, that, that, yeah, that might be good. A little less herky-jerky. Herky-jerky causes you to flip things over, which I've only done a couple of times in my driving career. Shooting up I-5 here. This is a pretty good drive. Aberdeen, Port Angeles. Sky, where you at? Well, I guess I have to be inside to hear. Now what does that do, Seven? Because there's 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 dead space. There's the thing that I just changed, which is the sensitivity, and then there was one other. Keep left. Oh. <sighs> oh no! Are you gonna make me sleep before I get there? I need to look at my one HUD thing. Um, next rest stop in two hours. We've got two hours and 53 minutes left of the drive. Yeah, I, I remember it doing that in Euro Truck. We fell asleep sometimes on Euro Truck and Wrecked. Keep left. Well, I heard her there. There's that awesome looking river. Port of Tacoma. Ooh. 
Stop it. Smack yourself. Drink some soda, some pop, anything. You know, at this point, I may just take the fine. Are we going to have to stop here? Bypass service. Green light. We're good to go. You can bypass the nearest way station. Excellent. There's probably a spot there to sleep at the way station. There is! It's all... Oh, I didn't... Oh, that's good to know for next time. But, like... Surely the fine cannot be more than, like, 120 bucks. Reduce speed zone ahead. How much are we talking? <sighs> Keep left. I think it said Vancouver, BC, and I was like, wait, why are we going to Washington? I'm an idiot. Oh, there's question marks over there at that other place. I mean, why is it showing Seattle on the map again? Did we just like loop around? So that was Portland we drove through and installed the stadium, not even Seattle. Or am I going crazy? So that was where the, I don't know. I'm, I'm going crazy, I guess. <laughs> That's right, Lord of the Lizards. It's me going crazy. Oh, well, I, didn't, I guess that's Seattle then. Seattle, yep, I guess that, that would be an accurate statement. <sighs> We're gonna be driving right through the heart of the city too, it looks like. Uh, we are hauling some kind of parts. Um, it's a very lackluster load. I just did it because I wanted to get to a certain money amount before tonight's stream was over so that next time I stream we can buy a vehicle. I discovered Seattle. Suck it, Christopher Columbus. Seattle Mole, one of two. Achieve my progress. Uh, okay. Wait, is there another way around Seattle? Is that what it's talking about? I bet, I bet what you're talking about, you could go on the 405 around or come in on I-90 and you'd probably see your stadiums. Maybe, I'm just guessing. Her precious time away. Keep left. Wenatchee. We can go to Wenatchee. Exit 194. Oh, what? 
There's nobody around me! What? There was literally nobody around! Ah, oh, this game. I didn't see anybody. I'm not allowed to have flawless runs. I just, I give up. All I wanted to do was look around, and I can't even do that because the steering goes bonkers. Past the nearest way station. Ah, I should I should I should have slept there. I'm just emulating tiredness for the authentic authenticness of the stream of driving this truck. I do it for you all, because I care. Oh no, we're fading. Come on, we gotta make it 29 more minutes and we've got this. Yeah, like this, this right here, I gotta fix that on the wheel and I'll be good. I don't know what you're talking about. I refuse to look at something that didn't happen. Look at that beautiful clouds. We're 13 miles away from our destination. People gotta get out of the way of freedom when we're delivering. That's what matters. <sighs> Here's our exit. We're almost there. State Street, exit Iowa right. Street. And then exit right. And we're here. Exit right. I am. Boom, calm your tits. Keep right and uh then turn right. Oh my Bellingham. Bellingham. <laughs> Turn right. Yes, I heard you the first time. Turn right on red, right? Yes, left's the, left. left's the only way we can go. Turn left. My God. Oh, there is no way. Here we are. Safe and safe. Oh, maybe there is. Sleep. I'm here. I don't want to hit that post there. It's really hard to tell how much room you have on the side. See if that one percent mattered. Nope. 
Nope. See, it's just road damage. It's rocks flying up, things like that. It's not a big deal. We even leveled up. $11,000 for our troubles. Boom. I'm going to go ahead and veto this and make long distance so we can do longer deliveries next time. That puts us at 37,000, so still a little short. So I'll have to make a decision what I want to do, but I think next time I stream, which could be tomorrow night or it could be Tuesday night, um, I'm more leaning toward Tuesday night because I might want to give my throat a day to relax because it's... I can, I can feel where I've talked to you all for so much. Um, but uh, I, th I think we'll go from there. But uh, I have really enjoyed this. I really cannot believe that I'm approaching the three hour and 30 minute mark of streaming. Um, yeah, this game takes your life away. So, but I've enjoyed every bit of it. But for those of you out there lurking, hit that follow button. For those of you that follow tonight, those of you that are subscribed or donated bits, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope to see you all soon. But for all those lurkers that have not Welcome been here for a while, thank you all so much. I appreciate it. Chainsaw, thank you for that follow. I appreciate that. But I will see you all next time. Good night, everybody. Thank you.